It is now day 10 of Iceland's newest eruption of the Reckonis volcano, and a lot has changed in the past week. But first, it can be difficult to understand the sheer size of the spatter cones which have formed around the dominant vents. This is why when select scientists with permission got close to the volcano to take samples for analysis, we were all able to see how truly large these vents had become. While the vent on the left of this video clip likely has grown to around 16.2 meters tall, the taller vent on the right has grown to at least 30.7 meters or 100.7 feet tall. This fact becomes far easier to visualize once I overlay a person in frame multiple times on the aforementioned vents. What had initially started out as a very large 3600 meter or 11,811 foot long fissure which was erupting along its entire length has whittled down to only two dominant spatter cones erupting on June 3rd. At the time, lava flows were negligibly expanding the existing lava field in three directions, to the south, the northwest, and southeast. As a result, the lava field expanded in size from 8.45 to 9.83 square kilometers, an increase of 16.3%. However, over the next 24 hours, the northern of the two remaining spatter cones ceased all activity, with only the southern taller spatter cone remaining. This vent, while slowly continuing to grow, has dramatically decreased its eruptive output during the last 12 hours. And yet, while my interpretation is that the current eruption has entered its final and weakest stage of its eruptive cycle, I want to remind everyone that this stage can potentially last for months. In other words, what is currently a trickle of eruptive output, perhaps being around 3 cubic meters per second, could continue for a fairly long time. However, I am fairly certain that the ongoing eruption will end far before we pass the 54-day mark reached by the prior March through May 2024 eruption. While the existing lava field might still negligibly increase in area, I believe that most new material will instead increase the thickness of near-vent areas. As a result of this declining activity, several areas around the Reckonis volcano have had their hazard zone colors decreased. Since I had showcased this footage from day one of the latest Icelandic eruption where part of the fissure cut right through the dominant spatter cone from the prior months long eruption, it made people wonder if this same vent is the dominant growing cone at the present. The answer is no, the singular growing cone is separate, being centered 122 meters to the south-southwest. Through degassing from this and nearby vents, you might occasionally see a faint whitish blue hue rising from the ground instead of the usual solid white color. These bluish plumes contain abundant sulfur dioxide which scatter light to give their non-white coloration. While the town walls around Greenavik have thankfully held, there has been a bit of debate regarding a crag which seemingly just appeared beyond the existing level walls at approximately the location I have labeled on screen. Since this region is actively emitting gas, does this mean that lava is about to erupt there? Well, technically possible, I am pretty sure it won't. Instead, my interpretation is that this marks a crack which had been covered during previous eruptions, probably trending in a straight line from this mapped crack. I thus believe that the degassing we are observing from this feature is from deeper magma which failed to reach the surface along the 3600 meter fissure, in other words just outside its edge.